let me know what you think about these houses what looks good what looks bad what would which one would you live in which one would you hate to live in what is going on you guys it's caleb here i am super pumped to be able to give you an update let you know what's going on right now in the chesterfield area today is april 4th 2022 we're going to be looking at the houses that have sold during the month of March 2022. We're going to be looking at houses that are coming soon that are going to be available. Um, and then we're going to be checking out the ones um, that are active as of right now. There's all this talk in the real estate um, world of, oh, there's no inventory. The housing market is impossible right now. There's nothing to buy. Um, and it's just not true. You're going to be able to see evidence of that right here in Chesterfield alone. So I'm super pumped to be able to give you guys just an overview and let you see what's going on right now. I'm gonna share my screen with you. I wanna show you guys this overview first. Let you see this data here. Right here, we've got the active houses that are for sale as of right now. We've got 23 of them uh, with a total volume of just over 17.6 million. We've got uh, 10 houses currently that are coming soon. We've got um, nine that are active under contract right now. 85 of them are pending sale, which means they're set to close as of right now. And then we've got the 63 here, and these have closed during the month of March. So we're going to do an overview of, of these as well. So let's just get right into it right now. Let's go see what's currently for sale. So right now what we're looking at is 359 Litany and that's priced at 430,000. This has been on the market for 90 days now. It's on a little over a third of an acre. It's got some virtual staging done. Um, I'm gonna flip through these pictures so you guys can see, get an idea. I'm not gonna show every single thing that would take a really long time. Um, but if you guys do have any questions about any of these, just Reach out to me and I will see what I can do to dig up some more info for you. Um, this is 14426 Open Meadow Court West. Very long name for a street. But we've got this one as well, active for sale. And I'm interested to know if you guys live in Chesterfield or if you have lived, comment below. That'd be kind of cool to see. Um, and then these ones here, these virtual pictures, these are to be built. They have not been built yet. Um, and you'll find more of that as well. As we go along, you're going to see stuff that hasn't been built or is um, coming soon under construction because there's a lot of new development in construction Chesterfield. So this clearly, you know, it hasn't been built, but this is a model home that they've taken pictures from. So you can get an idea of what the, the house is going to look like. Um, and then we've got another one of those um, here. And then we've got this one, 1734 Old Baxter Road, actively for sale at 685000 on 0.89 acres. Been on the market for uh, just a couple of days now, six days. So let's see this one. Very poor photography. And that is going to limit their pool of interested buyers. Um, 906 uh, Grand Reserve also to be built. Let me see this floor plan here. Okay. We've got 13503 Ledoux Farm Road, priced just under a million, almost on an acre. All right, and then let's keep going. So we've got this one here, 14972 Water Ridge Court. Been on the market for two days, just over a quarter of an acre, priced at 350,000. Eighteen six six eight Olive Street. Price at 965,000, it's on two acres, as you can see here. Seven, 
17708 Horse Creek Court. Price just under 1.5 million, sitting on one acre. And beautiful uh, outdoor living area, it's slate patio. Let me know if uh, tray ceilings. Let me know if you guys. Uh, let me know what jumps out to you. What which of these houses jump out, and what do you like? What don't you like? We've got these ones that are also to be built. Around one point five million. One point six. Similar. And then we've got some condos that are actively for sale as well. This is at 199,900. We've got this one at 221,000. And we've got uh, these villas. Three eight five Brunhaven Court. And that's priced at 469000 And then this one here, 14426 Open Meadow Court West. Price at 495000 Let's check this one out. We've got this condo here. We've got uh, these villas here actively for sale more new construction to be built actively for sale and now what we're getting into are the ones that are coming soon um, which i think would be really interesting to show you guys and for those of you out, uh, that are out there that say there is no inventory um, this this allows you to kind of see what's going on before it actually happens so this is 14130 parliament on almost half of an acre And this one's got the open house on Sunday, the 10th. Um, let's see what else do we have? Three zero one Penshurst. All right. Fifteen seven twenty Hill House coming soon. Listed at three hundred thirty thousand. One picture. I guess they're gonna probably be doing more photography at the moment. This one's a little over half of an acre at six hundred and seventy five thousand. Coming soon. 2183 Terry Mill Terrace. 0.43 acres, 700,000. Beautiful big backyard, great for your puppy to run around. Pergola outside, good drone pictures of this one. No actual pictures of the inside. Uh, 2613 Joyce Ridge Drive, priced just under 700,000. What I really like about Chesterfield is the variety of what's available. You could spend, you know, click just from this video alone, you could see that you could get a place, a 
condo for as little as 120,000 right now. You could spend as up to uh, as much as 2.6 million. Um, this one's coming soon. 1245 Finup Lake Drive. I moved somebody over here. It's a good area. As you can see back here, new construction. All these houses are brand new. Uh, 16365 Wilson Farm. The lighting is not the greatest in these pictures. And yeah. You got to have really good photography, you guys. That's the, the very minimum that you can do right now. Uh, this is the one at 2.6 million or 2595. Two Take a look at this. There's only a couple pictures of the outside for now. It's coming soon. Um, 6,000 square feet, four car garage, five bed, eight bath on three acres. Good size lot. And then we've got some condos that are coming soon. And then now what we're getting into are the ones that have sold during March. So as you can see here, there's the list price and then there's the sale price. So you can see what it actually sold for. And overall, you're going to see a trend of selling higher than the asking price. So I'm gonna scroll through these so you guys can get an idea of what is sold recently. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. That would make for an extremely long and uh, more boring video than it already is. So I wouldn't want to do that to you. Um, but yeah, this is, let's just take a look at this one real quick, as you can see. All right, going, moving along. Can see here what is sold. All right. And we've got this one here. I want you guys to let me know what you think about these houses, what looks good, what looks bad, what would, which one would you live in? Which one would you hate to live in? Um, let me know if any of these houses, if you've seen them before in real life, I think that would be cool to kind of be able to see. But yeah, there you guys have it. I'm not going to go into too much further detail, but these are the ones that have sold. Um, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me anytime. I'd glad I'd be glad to help. Um, I'd be glad to help you guys make your decisions in real estate moving forward. If you're looking to buy or sell, you know, if even if I'd, I'm just a second opinion, uh, I'd be happy to help. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.